Hello, is, is, is this thing on? Hello? 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 Oh, hi! Hi, it's me, Marcel. Welcome to a Cooking with Linux Quickie. See this thing down here? This is a web browser. Actually, let me get rid of the, uh, let me get rid of my, my face there, okay? I'm gonna get rid of my face, there we go. Anyway, see this thing down here? This, this, this web browser here? Um, well, this thing here is Firefox, okay? And um, along with uh, other browsers that you may be familiar with, like uh, Chrome and Vivaldi and some of the modern things, all of them owe their existence as graphical browsers, there were browsers before this, to this one here, Mosaic, the original graphical web browser for the internet. Now, this may seem like a million years ago and a long time ago and all that sort of stuff, but back in January 23rd, 1993, 25 years ago, actually more than 25 years ago now, Mosaic was born and everybody just sort of went totally gaga. Like there was this, you, you could look at not just text on the internet, but you could look at images on the internet and things would never be the same again. But you know what? Let's take a look at what Mosaic looks like, okay? I went and installed Mosaic on my computer here. And I thought it would be fun to, to see to see what it looks like. So first of all, let's uh, let me see. So this is the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois. Illinois, Illinois. Anyway, uh, NCSA, NCSA. That's where NCSA Mosaic gets its name from. NCSA Mosaic. So as you can tell, the pages are you know uh, kind of interesting. But um, let's let's try something here. Okay, see this page over here. Let me go back to Cooking with Linux. Cooking with Linux dot com. And uh, let's just type cooking with Linux dot com and see what happens. And this, this is what that page looks like on an NCSA Mosaic browser. And I can't even scroll, I have to use the scroll bars on the side. This is what it looks like. So this is what that page looks like here. So all this funky formatting that we've gotten used to, the columns, the layouts, all that sort of stuff. Just, they're just not here. What we've got is we've got text and we've got graphics on the page. Let's try something else here for fun, okay, shall we? All right, let's go to linuxjournal.com just for fun. And now you'll notice that it's blank. And why is it blank? Why is it blank? Well, let us let me just show you something else here. See, https colon slash slash www.cookingwithlinux.com. And over here, https it doesn't know how to do secure pages yet. This doesn't yet exist. So on a site like Linux Journal, you can't even view the pages because they're being good corporate citizens in the way that Google wants everybody to be good corporate citizens. <laughs> Good internet citizens in the way that Google wants us all to be good internet citizens. Can we actually do this? Let's see if Google lets us take a look at non-encrypted pages. Non. Oh, there we go. Google non-SSL pages. It doesn't automatically rewrite itself to HTTPS. But if we go HTTPS and we go www.google.com, let's HTTPS colon. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Let's go back and take a look here. HTTP google.com. That works. That works fine. Uh, let's say I'm feeling lucky. I have no idea what I'm searching for, but I'm feeling lucky. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is, uh, this is barely readable. This is actually fairly difficult to work with. Um, but obviously, our, although, although let's, let's go over here. Let's go over here. HTTPS, our secure page. Still can't do it. Still can't see it. And if we try the same thing over, like I said, on linuxjournal.com, uh, com, nothing. What if we go, uh, what if we go to cookingwithlinux.com? Cookingwithlinux.com. And, um, same thing, we don't get pages. So we can't do HTTPS, we just can't do HTTPS. We can do HTTP, but we can't do HTTPS. So that is one of the things that we can't do. And of course, things that we know and love today, like YouTube, let's go to youtube.com. In fact, let's do it without the HTTPS because we know that's not gonna work. So let's get rid of that. And let's take a look at YouTube. YouTube, I don't see a YouTube here, let me go back. See, uh, YouTube automatically goes to HTTPS, so we can't see it. So, so we can't watch videos. We can't watch videos. The best that we can hope for. How about how about uh, Wikipedia? What about Wikipedia? Wikipedia.com. Can we do Wikipedia? Wikipedia automatically goes to HTTPS because that's what we're being forced to look at these days. That's the way the web is going, and for good reason. But nevertheless, so that means that 
as much as you'd like to continue running this 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 great old web browser you just can't that's that's the limitations of the mosaic browser today anyway that's it that's it for the uh, cooking with linux quickie i just thought you'd enjoy taking a look at what the browser world looked like way back when in the before time hey listen while you're out here do this for me okay youtube.com some interesting videos that show up there youtube.com slash freethinker at large that's my youtube page there's a button here that says subscribe please subscribe to my youtube page just go ahead and do that and if you feel so inclined and you want to support my work and my habit as i like to say patreon.com slash marcel gagne and uh you know, if you want to do that, you can do that as well. And if you'd like me to cover something on a video that I haven't done that, please, please consider doing it. And um, I'll see what I can do to help out with that. And that's it for now. That's where I'm leaving him. Talk to you later. Goodbye, NCSA Mosaic. You were cool at one time, but I just can't work with you anymore. I just can't. <laughs>